this is my brand at this point, so. <laughs> Hi beads, it's EKG. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a bookshelf decluttering. I don't know, I've been looking at my bookshelf, um, particularly in my poetry section here, and I'm not really a fan of the vibes. Um, I want to get rid of a lot of books. I had a lot, or some of these books, for many, many years, and I have not touched them, and I just feel like they might serve a better home for someone else who really wants them. We're gonna declutter my bookshelf. That's what we're doing. I have to squat because I don't have my cameraman with me today. I specifically wanna attack these bottom four shelves. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of books, but the main shelf I will be attacking today is the second shelf, which is my poetry collection shelf. I have so many poetry books in here that I have not read recently. Right, I'm literally gonna be pulling everything out, so book by book. So let's get into it. The first book, Nejma. I talked about this in my bookshelf tour, but it is one of the first modern poetry collections. Um, this is by Nayira Wahid. I also have Salt by Nayira Wahid. I just don't think that I would read these again necessarily. Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. These are like the first poetry collections that I read on my own will. You know, how you're forced to read poetry in school. I was still in high school when I read these and I felt sentimentally attached to them, which is interesting, but they'll serve a better purpose in another home. Okay, I have Tracy K. Smith, her poetry collections, Wade in the Water and Life on Mars. I'm not getting rid of these babies. Are you kidding me? Tracy K. Smith's one of my favorite poets going in the key pile. <laughs> so up next, I have another modern poetry collection. I Love My Love by Raina Biddy. I think I read this once. It was decent. I liked it. Ugh. Her words were more of an impact, in my opinion, through like audio poems and things like that. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to read this again. I'm not going to keep it. Upon further consideration, I think that I'm going to move Salt. But I think I'm going to move Salt by Nair Wahid to the maybe pile because I can get rid of Nejma, but Salt just really has a special place in my heart. Like I said, one of the first black modern poets that I read, as well as one of the first poetry collections I read on my own will and accord. So I feel like maybe I should keep this and I think it had an impact on me and also let's get into the fact that there's this whole thread or internet discussion of how Rupi Kaur basically stole <laughs> Nahira Wahid's whole flow. So maybe I should keep this for the, for the gossip, for the hot topic, you know? <laughs> so up next I have Game of Boxes and this is by Katherine Barnett. I was actually interested in going, studying at MFA at a program that Katherine Barnett um, was teaching, adjuncting in, so I wanted to check out some of her work, and I actually really enjoyed this, so I'm gonna put this in the key pile. Okay, up next I have Be With by Forrest Gander, and this is the winner of Pulitzer Prize. And when I read this at the time, I just remember thinking that it was way too hard for me to comprehend, and I didn't really take that much out of it, but I feel like I should still keep it because I think I'm more equipped to read this poetry collection again. And honestly, I just kind of forgot that I had it. This is a book of poems, basically about lost grief and regret into the exquisite nature of intimacy. And I agree with that. I do remember taking that away from the book. There was a lot of grief. I think his wife recently passed away and it's his musings on that. I'm gonna keep this bad boy. Next, I have No Matter by Jana Preco and Paluda by Melissa Lazada Olivia. Melissa is a um, spoken word artist that I know from Button Poetry, akin to like an Olivia Gatwood. Her poems, a few of her poems have gone pretty viral. And I read this collection a minute ago. I did thoroughly enjoy it. Um, it talks a lot about her Latin heritage, as well as what it means to be a woman in America. Um, beauty standards, beauty standards, toxic masculinity, what it means to be a marginalized member of society, etc, etc. I did enjoy this, but honestly I've had it for a while. I think I'm gonna donate it. I think I'm gonna donate it. The cover is stunning though, and Paluda, I'm pretty sure, 
means in Spanish, like hairy. Up next, I have No Matter. I'm gonna donate this. I <laughs> This one was so hard for me to understand. Like so hard, so hard. And I love the cover. It says, one of the most original voices of her generation has produced a second brilliant book. These poems, urban and urbane, offbeat and stringent, welcome the reader with a beguiling lucidity with that sparkling surface. I remember reading this and a lot of the poems were based in New York, like a New York City experience, which is pretty cool. I did enjoy that aspect. I just thought they were very hard to read and understand at the time. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna donate this, guys. No shame. Hey, Postcolonial Love Poem by Natalie Diaz. I have talked about this book quite a bit on my channel. Natalie Diaz also just recently won a Pulitzer Prize in Poetry, which is amazing. Congrats to Natalie. Definitely worth it. Her work explores the indigenous struggles of America, what it means to be in a, in a land that's your home but isn't considered your home by um, the colonizers who took over and also indigenous folks relationships to nature which i thought is brilliant and i thoroughly enjoyed so definitely read this i'm gonna keep it all right so now we're getting into our celebrity poetry collections and this is phone for her by orion carlotto and i also have flux i also have flex by orion carlotto i'm definitely donating this sorry so for her, I did find to be more enjoyable and I definitely saw Orion's growth. Um, I remember one poem specifically that I really enjoyed from here, but otherwise I just feel as though, I'm probably never gonna read this again, honestly. I feel like I should just donate it. I think someone else would be thrilled to come across this in a thrift store or I'll gift it to a friend. Okay, hey, Lana Del Rey. This is surprising, I think I'm gonna keep this is surprising. I think I want to keep Lana Del Rey's poetry collection. I dedicated a whole video, so if you would like to see my thoughts on it, I'll leave it linked. But yeah, I actually enjoyed this, so I think I'm going to keep it. Halsey didn't do it for me. I'm sorry. It was decent, but I don't think I'm ever going to read it again. So I'm going to donate it to Pac Poetry Collection. The Rose That Grew From Concrete, I Have to Keep. So Neon Soul by Alexandra L, collection of poetry and prose, lava hisses from my soul like ash and neon. It definitely fits in the modern poetry genre, um, which is fine. I just don't think I'm ever going to read this again. I'm a little, <laughs> this is what I have in bookmarks. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was cool. It was a vibe in the moment, but I don't think I'm ever going to read it again, so I'm donating. Bone by Ursa Daly Ward and The Terrible by Ursa Daly Ward. Ursa Daly Ward is actually one of my more favorite modern poets. Um, specifically, The Terrible is probably one of the most unique memoirs I've ever read before. And not that I've read a lot of memoirs, honestly, <laughs> but it's one of the ones that plays with form the most that I've ever read, and I thoroughly enjoyed this. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. Oh, and I might just move to the maybe pile. Ah, actually, I'm just gonna donate it. I'm gonna be strict here because I wanna free up space and redo my whole poetry collection, read more poets, maybe read more poets who I think are more in line with my tastes now. So that's that. Okay, honestly, now we're gonna get into a rapid fire. Rapid fire decluttering. Between you and these bones, FD soul. Grocery list poems, I just finished this. I'm gonna keep, thought it was absolutely stellar. Dirty Pretty Things by Michael Faudet, another like Tumblr modern poet. Um, I'm not saying this in a derogatory way. Please don't interpret it that way. It's just not poetry that I'm drawn to at the moment. Um, I do not shame people who read modern poetry. I think modern poetry is kind of like a gateway to growing a love for poetry and then also exploring poets, newer poets, more contemporary poets. That's how I started, as you can see, with reading a lot of modern poetry um, on my own. Now I just kind of am changing and evolving from this types of poetry, but there's nothing wrong if you enjoy this. And yeah, I just think this whole concept of, oh, if you read modern poetry, you're, you're not a real like reader and appreciator of poetry because I'm an elitist and I only want to read super complex poems. Like, doesn't mean anything. I think the most effective form of poetry and the poetry that's most effective is poetry that's accessible to as many people as possible. And as you can see, I have donated poetry collections that are highly critically praised that I didn't get anything out of. So 
I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> Past Imperfect by Neil Sobro Sobro Blotz. Past Imperfect. I actually have not read this yet. Um, so I'm gonna keep it. Space Struck by Paige Lewis. I read this year. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And it is about an exploration to the stars and back, begging us to reconsider our boundaries of self, time, space, and knowledge. Y'all know this is my vibe. Woo! Milk and honey, I got paint all over it. Um, this is definitely getting donated. This is a hot topic, but it's getting donated, okay? Ah! Be Dark by Savannah Brown. I absolutely love this one, I'm gonna keep it. Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Core gets donated. The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. I am gonna keep this one. I read it, thought it had so much wisdom, so much knowledge. I don't know if I would necessarily consider this poetry, but it's poetic prose, like ly lyrical prose, so we're just gonna keep it. Langston Hughes Selected Poems. I'm gonna keep this one. Langston Hughes, like, are you kidding? I have to keep that. Another Ruby Core, I had her whole discography. <laughs> I'm gonna donate that. I'm gonna donate this one. Honestly, this one was my least favorite out of three. It wasn't giving anything new. Maggie Nelson Bluets, are you kidding me? Keeping it. I loved Bluets so much. Ariel Sylvia Plath, it's staying. Classic, it's staying, it has to. Finna by Nate Marshall is staying, another one of my recent fave poetry collections. I mean, why would I give that away? I would be crazy. How to Cure a Ghost um, is staying. Probably one of the most beautiful poetry collections, like as visually, that I've ever owned. And first off, the title, bomb, and the content, also bomb. Um, keeping. <laughs> Yesterday, I was the moon. Oh, she's a YouTuber. Okay. Hey, Noor. Okay, honestly, I know for a fact I'm not getting rid of anything that's on the tail end. This is the progress. Anything that's on the tail end of that shelf because Mary Oliver, Mary Oliver, Mary Oliver, keep. This is my brand at this point, so <laughs> keeping. Oh my God. So this is Universal Breaths by my friend Annie. She published, self-published poetry collection. You guys can definitely check it out if you'd like. I'll leave it linked down below. <laughs> a friend published her own poetry collection. I think that's awesome and such a brave, challenging thing to do. So definitely check it out if you'd like. I'll leave a link down below. Black Girl Call Home, I'm keeping. Absolutely love this. Poetry collection by Jasmine Mans. Thought it was great. And last, last, second to last, I have this is definitely borrowed, I don't know, Great English and American Poems, The Pocket of Verse is keeping. I actually think I got this, I think I borrowed this from someone, so. And The Portable Play-Doh, I'm gonna keep. That's the poetry shelf. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you just watching me declutter my bookshelf. I hope you get inspired to get rid of some books that you may not ever read again or that you just never read in the first place and it's been years and years. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram and on Goodreads. It'll be linked down below and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye. I was like, Yo.